there are some great spring fashion trends heading our way this year and there are some that I'm saying we need to draw the line at or at least exercise a little moderation. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Now, I recently posted a video here on the most wearable spring trends that are heading our way very soon and I thought it was only fair that I looked at some of the spring trends that I really think are a little too tricky to try. So today, that is what I'm talking about, but I know that these videos are quite contentious and I don't expect you all to agree with all of these trends or my take on these trends. If you don't, I would love to hear what you think and why you disagree with me. I certainly don't expect everyone to be on the same page as me, but that's what the comments are for. So please leave me a comment to share your thoughts. I love to hear your thoughts, good or not so good. So don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments below. Now let's just get on to these trends to avoid. Now this year, there seems to be a real more is more approach to fashion and while I'm definitely here for that, sometimes think kind of mob wife. I mean, that trend has just gone crazy on social media, but there is also a trend for metallics. Now I've talked about metallics quite a bit on my channel recently, but what seems to be happening and certainly come spring is wearing top to toe metallics. Now I tend to think that this is quite a statement and if you like making a fashion statement and this is your vibe then that's great but all I'm saying is perhaps just proceed with caution and and as I said earlier just exercise a little moderation with this one I definitely think as you get a little older kind of 40 plus it's a very tricky trend to pull off now I'm, I'm not saying it's not impossible but just be a little cautious. One way that I think that is a really easy way to incorporate the metallic trend into your outfits is with accent pieces. So purses, handbags, some sandals. There are plenty of metallics that give you the option to give a nod to the trend without taking the trend too far. Obviously what we see on the runway definitely trickles down to the street style images and the high street stores, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to take all of these trends at face value. We can kind of just pick and choose and dip our toe in the trend without going the whole way. And that's what I suggest we do with metallics. Now this one may divide you guys because I'm sure if you're a practical person, you may actually like this trend, but there is a real, move towards bags becoming real super sized. So think kind of XL style bags. I think I've seen them referred to as XL bags and they really are. They are super sized handbags. I have even seen a super sized crossbody bag. I'm a huge fan of crossbody bags, but when they are a little bit extreme, I think it becomes a bit much. Now, obviously, if you like leaving the house and you like to pack the kitchen sink and everything else in between, then these bags are going to be great for you. I do just think, like most fashion trends, anything that is kind of erring on the, ex the side of being a little extreme is just a tricky trend for most of us to wear. So, I would suggest kind of pairing those bags back. The micro minis are not really happening anymore. And these extra bags are definitely sort of an answer to the smaller purses and bags that we've seen. But I would say pull it back a little bit and just not take it to the extreme. And at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Babbel for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. In case you didn't know, Babbel is the number one language learning app in the world. It's also an app that is scientifically proven to help you learn a new language in as little as three weeks. I've been using Babbel for the last couple of months to learn Spanish. Now, I wanted to start speaking Spanish because my son, who is on a basketball scholarship, over in the US and he's at high school, he's studying Spanish and he is really struggling. And so I thought one way that I could help him out is to try and learn Spanish as well so we can perhaps talk and speak and I can help him out a little bit. Let me show you how easy it is to use the app. El es Pedro.
Ella es Sofía. One of the things that I love about Babbel is that it teaches you real conversational language. So it means that if you're traveling, you'll be able to speak to the locals and ask things that you would perhaps want to ask, like how to find something or where you can get a coffee. It'll help you order things from restaurants. It's great because it's the language that is going to be really practical, whether you're traveling for fun and pleasure or whether it's a business trip. One of the other things that's unique about Babbel is that all of the lessons are prepared by real language teachers. So there are real teachers behind the structure and the learning plan on the app. Babbel has a few different subscriptions to choose from too, including a lifetime subscription, and they also offer a 20-day money-back guarantee. So So if you decide to start learning a language and life gets in the way or you change your mind, you've got that guarantee that you get that money back. So there's kind of no stress or no risk involved. And I'm really excited today that the team at Babbel are offering you up to 60% off your subscription. So all you need to do is click the link, which I will leave in my description box below, or the QR code, which is on the screen right here, and you can take advantage of that offer. As I said, there is a 20-day money-back guarantee, so there is no risk at all. So if you have been thinking about learning a language or you just want to have a little bit of fun or you've got a trip planned, then definitely take advantage of this one. Now let's go back to these trends. Now probably the biggest trend this year is that sort of office-ready, old money, classic kind of styling. Now this is happening in a huge way for spring, but the reason that this particular trend is on my list today is because I've seen a number of people, whether I'm out doing some personal styling with them, or I've even seen friends buying into this trend, but it doesn't suit their lifestyle. Now it is fine having one pair of perhaps man style black trousers or a torpy kind of color trousers, but I think it's easy to get really carried away with some of these trends. And this particular trend has been gaining momentum for the last couple of years. And I know what happens, you tend to see it and over and over again, and you think, okay, I do like this trend, but you forget to ask yourself that really important question, whether it actually suits your lifestyle. So all I'm saying with this one is, yes, it's a great trend, it looks fab, there are basic classic pieces that make up the foundation of these outfits. But just remember, if it doesn't suit your lifestyle, and these are pieces that are not going to be ones that you will use to create outfits on the regular, then don't fall into the trap of taking on this trend. So that's all I'm saying with this one. I personally love it. I think it looks great but beware. Now there's also a real return to sort of the 80s excesses that I definitely lived through with the big back, back combed hairstyles and 80s sort of power dressing shoulder pads and really chunky oversized statement jewelry pieces and I do think as you get older this is very much a tricky trend to create a modern looking outfit. It can fall into that camp of you just kind of wearing something that you actually did wear in the 80s. I think, you know, look, I'm all for all of us wearing what we love and what, what, what makes us feel great. But I think as you get to a certain age, you do have to be a little more cautious with some of the trends that we've perhaps lived through before because they do run the risk of potentially aging us. So while this trend is going to be big and we are going to see lots of big hair and big shoulder pads. I do think we need to kind of give this one a miss or just very much a little bit like our oversized bags, pair it back a bit and just exercise a little moderation. Now bows featured heavily in many of the spring runway shows and while I quite like the femininity of this trend, what we did see was bows being adorned to everything. And so not just an accessory with some bow detail, it was dresses covered in bows, tops covered in bows. And again, I think that this can just look a little girly, especially if you are over 40, say. I know this is such a generalization when it comes to age. 
and style. But I do think that this bow trend can skew a little bit young and just look a little bit off if you are over a certain age. So the bows are everywhere. If you love this particular trend, then perhaps opt for a shoe with a bow detailing on it or maybe a bow hair tie or some cute little bow earrings. As I said earlier, there are other ways to dip your toe in some of these trends, but without taking it to the extreme. So that's what I suggest we do for this one too. And that leads in really nicely to rosettes. Now I have talked about rosettes a little bit on the channel here too, and they are getting bigger and bolder than ever come spring. Think tops, off the shoulder tops with massive rosettes, this sort of size rosettes and rosettes just completely adorned over dresses and tunic style dresses and again it's a feminine look but I would suggest you being a little bit careful with this one and kind of approaching it in the same way that you would bows and while we often expect spring to be all about florals this season it seems to be all about sequins and again Sequins are just such a style statement and I'm not saying don't wear them at all but instead of wearing them in the way that they were shown on the runways which was an entire sequin dress or outfit I suggest just pairing it back a little bit once again and enjoy sequins but perhaps look at them as a an accent piece or I've seen some cute little tees with sequin detailing on the sleeves Think of sequins as more of an accent again as opposed to an entire outfit. Of course, if it's a special occasion or if it's Christmas, then these rules don't apply because I always say when there's an event, why not go big and go bold and make a style statement? But for every day, I would pair back the sequins and use them as accent pieces as well. Now, Mermaid Core had a huge moment in 2023 and it seems as though we're not heading for dry land anytime soon. Mermaid Core seems to have been reinvigorated and there are aquatic type motifs just everywhere. So designers like Schiaparelli featured massive lobster necklaces, which I will try and find a photo and show you here. There were also dolphin motifs and I even saw models that looked kind of a little bit more like marine life and less like mermaids. So it's just one of those trends that I think is crazy cool on the runway, but doesn't translate very well at all to everyday life. So you may hear about it or see that mermaid core is a big trend for 2024, but I would definitely say to just Give this one a miss. And another trend that seems to be sticking around and we did see it last year as well was barely there shorts or super short shorts which in my mind are basically like hot pants and I did see on social media a lot of women in their sort of 40s and 50s dipping their toe I was going to say having a go at this trend and I definitely applaud anyone that wants to have a go at fashion and try different trends out. I would never suggest that you don't experiment and have fun. But this year there are also some beautiful longer style shorts happening as well. And I think if you are looking to create a modern outfit and an outfit that obviously is a little more practical, I definitely think opting for the longer style shorts is a more sensible and potentially practical way to go. So maybe think twice about the barely there shorts and enjoy wearing these slightly longer and some of them are quite full shorts as well. Now you know the top spring fashion trends to avoid then why not check out the most wearable spring fashion trends that are heading our way real soon. All you need to do is click or tap on the screen here and I'll see you there.